a few years ago in the United States, a man put on a mask, took a bat, and he went in to rob a grocery store. But the man behind the counter in this store was a Muslim. So the shopkeeper, the Muslim, he pulled out a gun from behind the counter. And now this man who had the bat, the robber, he knew he was in trouble because now he has brought a bat to a gunfight. So the Muslim came around the counter, pointed the gun. And the robber, the man, he put his bat down and he started begging, saying, please don't hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. I only came, I only came to take your money because I have no job and my family is starving and I came to get some money to buy some food for my family. Please don't hurt me. Don't shoot me. So the Muslim shopkeeper, he said to him, if you promise never to do anything like this again, I will help you. So the man said, I promise I will never do this again. The shopkeeper went to the cash register. He took out $40. He gave the man the money. Then he went and he got some bread and some other food and he gave the man the food. And he said, here, take it. You may go. I won't call the police. So the man, he was so moved by this kindness, by this forgiveness. He said, I want to be like you. Tell me what I need to do. I would like to also become a Muslim. The man said, repeat after me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. The man repeated these words. And then he left. But one year later, he wrote a letter to this man saying, I want to thank you for what you did that day. You gave me back my life. You gave me back my dignity. And I want to tell you that one year later, I'm still a Muslim. And I say, Alhamdulillah, for that day that I came and I met you. This is not a fairy tale. You can see the video yourself. The CCTV camera from the shop. All of it is on YouTube. You can see for yourself. Some would say that man should have killed that robber. The Muslim should have killed that robber. And then everyone would know if you try to rob a Muslim, this is what will happen to you. But this man, he didn't do that. He followed the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Idfa billati hiya ahsan. Repel evil with that which is better. And look at the result. We first brought you Mohammed Sohail's story in June when he showed mercy to a would-be robber who came into a store demanding money. The ordeal, all captured by surveillance cameras. Sohail grabbed a rifle and said the man began crying, saying he needed to feed his family. Sohail gave him $40, a loaf of bread, and made him promise never to rob again. I have Six months later, the 47-year-old Sohail says that promise was returned in a way he never imagined. He recently received a letter with $50 inside and no return address. That's a surprise for me. I said, what is that? And uh, when I read the letter, that's the same person, you know, the guy come try to rob my store. He read it for us. No, uh, I have a good job, make a good money, staying out of trouble and uh, taking care of my family. You give me $40 and a loaf of bread. Here is the $50. Thank you uh, for sparing my life because of uh, that you changed my life. Do you cry when you got that letter? Absolutely, because I, all, the thing, all the time I'm thinking my mom. My mom say, help anybody if anybody need help. The letter is signed, your Muslim brother, and the writer states he's now a true Muslim. During the aborted robbery, the man told Sohail he wanted to be a Muslim just like him. And so Hale recited an Islamic prayer and told him he was converted. While the man's life may have changed, things are also different for this Pakistani immigrant. At his store in Shirley, New York, he displays letters he's received from across the country. Dear Mr. Sohail, what is this? Let me say that no person has ever moved my spirit the way you did. Wow. Mm -hmm. From an admirer, your biggest admirer, Lee. Do you know who Lee is? I have no idea. People sending me the letters. And some have sent checks. So Hale says he's received a couple hundred dollars and now offers free bagels, rolls and coffee for several hours during the day. And he vows to help others. Would you one day like to meet with this anonymous mystery man? Of course. I'd like to see him. I want to see him. If he, if he hear me, if he listening me, this person, come to my store.
Well, so Hale says all is forgiven in his eyes. The Suffolk County police say this is still an open investigation as they've yet to find the mystery man. Mary Snow, CNN, New York.